For some, it's seen life go back to normal as COVID cases drop and more people are vaccinated. And a lot of people now are trying to stay healthy moving forward by eating healthy. It seems obvious, but the truth is the better we take care of our bodies, the more likely we are to fare better if we do get sick. Yeah, easier said than done, but what does healthy, a healthy diet really even mean? What should we be eating or leaving out? Morning anchor and health reporter Kirsten O'Connor standing by now to ask a doctor. Ask a Doctor is sponsored by Conviva Primary Care for Seniors. Well, throughout the pandemic, I've spoken to many doctors and dietitians who say the best way to stay healthy is to eat healthy and exercise. Of course, to try to curb COVID, we stuck to faster fixes initially, like PPE and masks, hand washing, you've heard me say that a million times, social distancing as well, great tools. But if we've learned anything, it's the healthier you are, the better the chance you have. So I spoke to registered dietitian Holly Zamet from Orlando Health, who says there's really no one size fits all diet because it depends on your own conditions. And there are some general things that apply to everyone. A healthy diet for um, a young individual would be uh, a food pattern that is rich in fruits and vegetables and whole grains, um, moderate amounts of lean animal protein, um, very low in saturated fat, added sugars, and sodium. Well, I like to use the word diet pattern, uh, first of all, because I think the word diet tends to have a negative connotation. Uh, it indicates that it's something that you start or stop. If you're restricting a certain food group or nutrient uh, for a long period over time, you can have signs of malnutrition, malnourishment. You may increase your risk for osteoporosis if you're not getting enough calcium in the diet, right? Um, so these are, you know, some possible uh, things to look out for. Um, also, we have to think about, which is not talked about very much, is a psychological impact of following um, a diet or several diets over and over. Um, and this can cause a lot of social isolation, it may cause you to miss out on certain opportunities and events with loved ones. So it's important to be sensible of nutrition, but you also want to make sure that you're following um, a good quality of life to balance with that. Now, there are some things Zamet says we should all be working to limit. Trans fats, saturated fats, added sugar, and sodium. Choosing things like lean proteins and lots of veggies can help with that. And speaking of veggies, plant-based diet patterns are becoming more popular, but there are some things you'll want to keep in mind. A plant-based diet is definitely beneficial for your health. It's very rich in fiber and vitamins and min minerals that are going to nourish your body. Um, it tends to be lower in calories um, and it can help reduce your risk of several disease types. Um, I think the only downside would be that it may be a little restrictive. Um, so if you feel challenged by eliminating certain animal sources in your diet, then maybe it's not the best for you. When you're following uh, a vegetarian or vegan style diet, uh, you may need to take a B12 supplement, which you would otherwise get from only animal sources. Um, and depending on your calcium intake, you may also want to consider taking a calcium supplement if you're not consuming dairy products. And another point, just because something says it's organic doesn't always mean it's better for you. So the organic uh, USDA label indicates that a food item uh, meets a set of standards um, and it guarantees that it was grown and processed according to federal guidelines. Um, this addresses things like soil quality, um, animal raising practices, weed and pest control, use of additives. Um, so if these sound like areas of concern for you, then go organic. If you're concerned about greenhouse gas emissions and pollution um, and use of pesticides, then go for organic. Um, do keep in mind that there is a lot more waste with organic food items and they do tend to cost more than conventional. Also something to keep in mind is that just because something's organic, doesn't necessarily mean that it's healthier for us. Um, organic food items can have just as much added sugar, fat, uh, and sodium as their conventional counterparts. So I do think this is something that we still have to keep in mind. Um, an organic candy bar at the end of the day is still a candy bar, and it's probably not something that we should consume frequently. 
<laughs> Good thing to think about. She says the key is moderation, not putting all of your foods off limits. In the end, Zamet says it's always best to speak to your doctor or dietitian if you're thinking about making a big change or if you have specific conditions that you may need to change your diet patterns over. So always important to think about. And I know diets are fun to talk about and trendy, <laughs> but it's good to hear from an expert.